Welcome to my channel Dalma Makes and welcome to this special Halloween video. I love to decorate my house for the season, so having special and unique handmade items for this purpose makes me really happy. In this video, I'm going to take this cheapy plastic cauldron and upgrade it. The first thing I have to do is remove the handle as it's quite a flexible and flimsy plastic and I'm going to reinforce it um, by wrapping some yarn around it in a really really tight coil. It will still remain flexible but it will add a little bit of bulk and it wouldn't be quite as bendy. It also improves the texture as the flashing from the mold uh, is hidden. The plastic already has a cast iron mold, but I want to improve it and make it a lot more evident. And also add some weight and bulk to the plastic. To do this, I'm going to use a texture paste that has coarse grains in it. And I slathered on just a really generous coating. And after that, I went in with a hog hair brush and sort of dragged it along to create more of a defined texture. I did the same for the handle and I left them to dry overnight. What I got left with in some places was a little bit just too rough and too pointy so I did some sanding with some nail files and different grits of sandpaper to smooth it a little bit out. I also tied up the handle in a position so that the texture paste would dry in a curved way so it wouldn't crack. Once everything is sanded to my liking, I went in with some black acrylic paint and I just covered the entirety of the outside surface as well as the handle. As you saw in the preview, I wanted to turn this into a bubbling cauldron. To do that, I'm going to use these wooden beads. I wanted a variation of sizes though, and I didn't have any other individual beads in the desired sizes, so I just um, cut apart uh, these strings of beads in two different sizes to harvest the smaller bubbles. To finish the paint job on the body of the cauldron, I'm going to add some gold paint. I'm going to apply this with my finger, only touching the raised areas, bringing up all that texture that I worked for. The gold on black really stands out and it will also match the other decor I have. Once the paint was dry, I reunited the handle with the body. In spite of the volume of the texture paste I added, this was still fairly light and prone to tipping over. So to balance it out, I just added a few rocks um, and also padded it out with some scrap paper and some tissue paper. My glue of choice was hot glue as I wanted those beads to stay where I put them immediately. 
and as you can see I'm starting with the largest bubbles and working my way up to the smallest ones right now I don't care about the color just the shape and I'm trying to arrange them in a way to fill all the gaps but also make it look a little bit organic and random just like real bubbles would be if the cauldron was boiling and bubbling over this took a while but it was really fun Once I'm happy with the arrangement of the bubbles, it's time to paint. To base coat I'm going to use a deep green. This has a little bit of a tealish hue to it that shows up on camera, but in person it's not quite as strong. Anyway, it's a great foundation for my bubbles. As the next color I'm going to add right on top of that is an apple green. This makes for a great contrast uh, with the dark recesses and undertones from the first coat. <laughs> An actual highlight on the bubbles I used some a straight up yellow trying to make them as dimensional as possible after fully dry I'm going to apply a very generous coat of acrylic varnish this is a high gloss varnish and I'm being very generous as I want these bubbles to look really shiny. That needed to dry overnight, uh, but the next day this is what I have. I also made a second cauldron uh, following almost exactly the same steps, except I made steam rise out of this one instead of bubbles. This little bubbling cauldron has quickly become one of my favorite Halloween decorations and it will make a great year-round addition to potion bottle shelf as well. It is quite sturdy now and it has a nice weight to it and it's technically an upcycling project as I took a cheap plastic thing and made it into something better. Please do let me know what you think about this bubbling cauldron in the comments below. I really like to hear your feedback. Also, if you enjoyed this project, please consider subscribing to my channels. I upload a new crafty video every Wednesday. I'll let you enjoy the glamour shots. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a nice day. Bye! Thank you.